but it wasn't. It was bad offense. Now, I, think I would disagree with you. I thought it was outstanding defense. I was down there courtside, Chuck, and the physicality, the closing of the gaps, it was excellent work, particularly by Texas Tech. Active hands and feet, not a lot of open shots available. Cassius Winston cashes in there. 23-21 at the half, Texas Tech. Well, that's just a great defense, I guess. Kyler yeah. Edwards there and one, made the free throw. And then Matt Mooney, the guy you talked about, oh, Chuck. He was the guy who got him going. He hit three or four threes in a row, and that's actually what got the separation. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a heat check right here. Yeah, it was, no doubt, I Chuck. mean, he is on fire. Yep, he was and feeling cause it. Because Carver was... Well, the word I'm thinking of, he was bad, man. Until it mattered. Until it mattered. But Mooney was the star of this game for Texas Tech. You got to give him a lot of love. Yes, they, you do. They would lead by 13, but boy, Michigan State came right back at him. Huge turnover there. In fact, they cut it to one, Holy, and here, this Holy. is the huge shot that right was the there. Dagger. That was the dagger right there. But he also made a two-point field goal after Michigan State had cut it to yes, one. They went got to that him. run. They you know, went to it in know, isolation, they, they went to and him. he got that floater up and, and down. And, you know, Clark, Coach Beard does a fantastic thing. As a guy who got doubled all the time, we ran some plays, because that's the toughest place to, to double. Right. You can double on the wing, yep. but you cannot double straight away. Top. That's right. So, and Coach Beard ran three straight plays like that, and he got the three and the two. Yeah. Ten-point win for Texas Tech, 61-51, as they hold the Spartans to 32% of shooting on the night and seven for 24 from three. And the expectation-shattering performance presented by Buick much to the delight of Patrick Mahomes, it was that shot by Jared Culver, whose last two games have been his worst shooting games of the season, but they've won them both. Three for 12 tonight, one of three from three, but that one, Kenny, that was huge. Huge shot. You know, again, both teams, we're going to see Monday night play at a different pace. But it's still about the number of possessions in terms of how many, who gets more possessions, because they do the most with those possessions at times. And, and to me, it's much more difficult, Clark and, and, and Charles, to play that way and be an offensive player. Because when the shot clock is running down, the defender knows that you have to make a play. Mm -hmm. So typically with, when it's you know 30 on a shot clock, he doesn't know if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stay. And it's like driving a car. Like, when it gets down to 10, am I gonna get into that lane or I'm gonna let that car pass? Like, it's it, 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 that quick decision that I have to make with 10 seconds, I don't have to make with 30. Right. So you got to more me, options with 30. With, yeah. I, I just feel it's more difficult for these two teams at time to score because so they wait too long. They're waiting and it puts so much pressure yeah, yeah. on it. And now the defense is like, now we can lock in and put the screws in. But the point. Thing, what the thing's going to be interesting in this championship game. The, the and they got here doing it. This the, is that's amazing. how they do it. Well, that's how they play but and win. No one in the history of the game has done it, as Ernie said. Right. No right. one in the shot clock era has done it. So that's why I don't think anyone thought they could do it. What's going to be interesting, you saw tonight and you saw in Virginia's game, when, when Texas Tech need a basket, they're going to go to Jared Culver. They went to him with the game on the line when Michigan State had cut it down. You saw the same thing, not as much in the Virginia game tonight. When they need a basket, they go to DeAndre Hunter. That's going to be a fascinating matchup for me to watch. Both guys are about the same size. They got great athletic bodies. I think the guy who plays the best between those two players is going to win Monday night. I don't think you can dismiss the Texas Tech bench, though, because Brandon Francis was superb, not only in the nine points he got, but also the physicality he played but, with but, defensively. But no, I'm not disagreeing with No, no, with but I'm saying, you, we always talk about, at some point, your star has got to be star. Yeah, but Jared Colbert stepped up when he needed yes. to, but your complimentary guys yes. have to yes. help you if you yes. go through a tough stretch. But, but and I, that's why I think the bench right. for Texas Tech, What's for, yeah. Tyler Edwards, mm -hmm. Brandon Francis, yeah. those guys can make plays and shots. We don't know if there's a player on the Virginia bench that can do that. I think that's just one of the things to look at in the game and, on Monday uh, night. And tonight, Texas Tech's bench outscores Michigan State by 10 in a game the Red Raiders win by 10. When we come back, Greg Gumbel, Candace Parker, Seth Davis bring you the highlights of Auburn and Virginia. Oh, let's don't do it. <laughs> you have to watch it one more time, Chuckster. I'm sorry. Is this our new car?